Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day. Today's Tuesday, July 26. I've been up for about an hour. I watered the garden. I'm watering the yard right now, so that's almost done. And then I'm getting ready to make some more banana bread. I've been making like a batch like every week. I just feel like it's this easy, it's good, and I have all the ingredients, so why not make more? So I've been letting my bananas sit out. They're nice and black, so I'm ready to do that. I got the oven preheating. I'm like, it's so bright. I'm like squinting. I'm like, oh God. Might do my makeup today. I don't know. I do need to go to City Market to get some soda, possibly something for dinner tonight. Cameron has band, so he won't be home till about 8.30 or so. So we'll see, we might, might get a dinner, might have us to spend for ourselves and like eat frozen meals or something. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, so, what have I been up to this week? What have you been up to? You know, I've just been, uh, uh, Monday night, last night was Big Brother at Devin and Richards, and then Saturdays they come over here. I know I've mentioned that before, but it's been a great, wonderful time, especially to be able to see their new kitten, Carol, that cra that crazy Carol, that little crazy Carol. Yeah, they got, I know I mentioned it last video, but they got a little tiny black kitten, and her name is Carol, and I love her, and she's so cute. She's like this big. She's just a little tiny nugget. Ugh. But yeah, so today, yeah, I'm just going to make the bread. I really, I still... Clothes Mountain that I talked about last week, still haven't put it away. I think every article of clothes that we own is down in the laundry area. I just don't feel like it, I just don't wanna do it. I told Cameron I'm gonna throw all the clothes away and we're just gonna have one outfit like Doug. You know, Doug Funny from back in the day. <laughs> Are you old enough to know what Doug, who Doug Funny is? If you don't, then yeah. Skeeter, Patty Mayonnaise, Roger. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Quail Man. What's the what's the dog's name? Oh, it's the freaking dog. Pork chop? Was his name Pork Chop? I can't remember, but yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna have one outfit and that's it. <laughs> Throwing the rest in the freaking trash. I it's like easy to do the laundry. That's like cause it's all clean. Like I did it. It's just like in a mound. That's why like I had to pull the shirt out of the dryer that's been in there for forever, so it's a little wrinkly, but it's clean. I just hate putting the clothes away. <laughs> But, and with the garden, we had a little bit of a tragedy. The butternut squash plant was doing so great. I think I showed you that last time. It was getting super long. It was probably about like six feet long, the vine. I had a couple of butternut squashes growing. And I don't know what happened, but I came outside in one, like a couple days ago in the morning and it was just completely wilted, like leaves on the ground, no life to it. So I was like, oh my God, what happened? I tried to water it and luckily the next day was like a little overcast. I'm like, okay, well hopefully it'll perk back up. But sadly it did not and I had to make the decision because there was one vine on it. it. Like it was only one plant. It's only one butternut squash plant, but it had like a couple of different vine vines going off. There was like four separate ones. So three of them, I had to make the decision to just cut them off because there was one part, there's one part of the vine that is only about a couple feet long, but that seemed to be still fine. Like it was pretty perked up, pretty looking pretty good. So I'm like, well, if I have any chance of this making it and producing something at some point, I don't know if it's too late, but so I cut all the dead stuff off. I have one part that still looks good. So we'll see, I don't, yeah, I don't know what happened. I've been putting stuff down to kill the ants. So I have an ant problem. I've been trying to do the borax with like sugar and stuff. Uh, you mix a couple tablespoons of the borax with like a cup and a half of sugar, warm water, soak it up with cotton balls and you put that out and that's what the ants are supposed to like, uh, the sugar attracts them and they go take that and the borax is supposed to kill them. But uh, yeah, and I don't know if it's because I have an earwig problem too. Cause I mentioned it to one of my coworkers and she was like, oh, but like earwigs. And I was like, I have seen earwigs. I'm like freaking earwigs, man. Freaking earwigs. <laughs> but yeah, so that's sad. But the pumpkins are looking really good. They're like, the vines are starting to really, uh, starting to get bigger. So hopefully we have hope. The one pumpkin plant, that's the giant pumpkin. It's looking real good. So I'm like, please, please. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. And yeah. All right, guys, well, I, it's only, what time is it? 
It is 9.54, so I have three more minutes till I have to turn the yard water off. And then I'm gonna make this banana bread. And then I'm probably, probably gonna get ready for the day. So next time you see me, I might have makeup on. If I don't, then I just didn't feel like it. But I think I will. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some makeup on since I have to go to the store. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I will check back in here in a little bit. I've been thinking about I might clean. Uh, I need to clean Ziggy Fresh's cage. Uh, I've meant. I don't know if I mentioned on here that I do also have a leopard gecko that I got from my friends. Uh, I want to say it's almost been been like a year and a half maybe almost a couple years now almost and he's about I asked her how old do they that they thought he was and that was a little bit ago and they said he was about five so he's about five six years old almost uh, yeah and if you take care of him leopard geckos can like live to be like 16 or so I think so he's pretty cool so I really desperately need to clean him because he is a gross little dirty poopy boy and so maybe, maybe that's what we'll do today. I'll show you Ziggy Fresh, he's pretty cool. And clean his cage up, well his terrarium. And then maybe give him some food and show you guys that cause he's pretty, he's pretty funny little guy. But, all right guys, well then I will be back here in little, probably a couple hours. So I'm gonna do my face, get ready, I'll finish the banana bread that I haven't even started yet. And maybe make a smoothie for lunch. Oh, I did. Uh, I finally just ended up, I broke my little personal blender again, so this was the second one I've gone through. It was just the cheaper Walmart one, so it was really only like 13 bucks, and I know what the problem was. I was stuffing it too full of stuff. It says don't overfill, and I'm just cramming stuff in there, like, because apparently I can't have enough smoothie in my life, but then it would like, it broke the spinny thing at the bottom, the, the, what spins the, the blade. It like stripped it because it was too full, the blade couldn't turn. So yeah, so I know it was my fault. So I was like, well, I guess that means that I just need to get something bigger. So I ended up buying an actual blender. So I'm like, okay, hopefully like a good one. It's one of those, uh, what are they called? O oysters? Oster? Oster? I don't know. It's a pretty popular brand, but it's a glass uh, blender. I'm like, sorry, I'm not my... A glass blender. Oh, and let me show you something else that I'm excited about. Okay, I'm back. The sun's like, ugh. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is the blender I got. So it's the Oster. I think that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, glass. I wanted to get something that was going to be, it was only like 40 bucks, which is a little more, but if I was just going to be buying the personal blenders and then breaking, it's like it's going to add up. So I might as well get something that's going to last. But I mentioned that this right here, was when my plant that I had in the window broke, like fell, one of the branches of it broke off completely and it was a lot of it. Like here it is, here it is. And that happened like a few months ago. And I was just like, I think it's so cool looking and I really like it. And I got it as a uh, gift from my neighbor who moved away. He was just getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And he uh, was the one who gave me these and those little cool little mugs but I ended up having to replant them. I've showed you before that they're hanging in the window now and they look really nice. I wanna get some more hanging things so I could replant this and a spider plant that our friend gave us too. But, so I've been just putting it in water, hoping that it would start growing some roots and for the longest time, nothing would happen. But now, yeah, so if you just so put, submerge some, a plant, like it'll start growing roots again. It might take a really long time and I feel like I still need like probably twice as many. So it's gonna be in this jar and I have it in the hanging thing in the window. So just like this, just water and nothing else. But so yeah, so probably here in the next couple months, I wanna get uh, more roots just so I know it's gonna be substantial and it's gonna make it. But yeah. So yeah, it broke off right at the bottom and yeah, just put it in here with water and now it's grown roots, so yay! I saved it because I'm like it's just really cool looking and I just really like it and they look really nice in the window so yeah I'm definitely gonna get a couple more hanging uh, planter things to put on this rod and then some more pots and then when it's ready I'm gonna do this and then the spider plant put those in the window because we just don't have a lot of room for like real plants I can't put them on the counters and stuff because the cats try to eat them and that's 
we, we don't want that. I have one that's hanging up here that's still doing really good, but so that's about all I have for real plants in the house. But yeah, how cute, huh? It's doing great. It's uh, it's in my, or it's Cameron's technically, Colorado, the state of craft beer. <laughs> so it's the Colorado cup, because that's where I live. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, sorry, kind of dragging that out. So I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready for the day, make this bread, come back, and we'll probably clean Ziggy Fresh's cage because he needs it. He's a dirty sink boy. And he deserves to get a good cleaning. So a good cleaning, some fresh water, and some numbs. So we'll be, I'll be back here in a few hours. All right. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I am back. It's been a few hours. It is like 1.30 almost. I went... I did my makeup, obviously. I tried to do like pink to match my shirt. I think it came out pretty okay. But yeah, I went out, I went to City Market and that's that's about it, so, but yeah. Made the banana bread, I have it right in front of me. I'm not gonna cut it yet, but oh, look at these bad boys. Getting better every time. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. But yeah, like I said, I've been eating those with like lunches or like snack and it's easy simple and like just yeah i've just been really liking it oh and then uh, at city market after i was done i got a starby my chai latte i like to get them on my days off because if i get the extra caffeine i'm like i'm probably not gonna go to bed early and then i've been eyeballing this every time i go obviously not the same one but like just what this is and so i decided i was gonna get it so it's a Capris, I can't say it right. Caprizi, caprese, snack tray. So it's just tomato, the mozzarella, some basil, and then there looks like there's like a pesto in here. And then I really like to eat this kind of stuff with uh, some olives. So I got a can of sliced olives. So I'm gonna eat that for lunch and it's gonna be delicious. And then they also had some uh, candles on sale. So these like big guys here, I got two of them. Got two of these here. It's called Summer Garden with Essential Oils, Blackberries and Sage. So yeah, I'm like, I love on sale candles. I burn candles all the time, multiple candles going at once. So if I can save some money on a candle, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, this was $4.80, originally like $12 or $13. So definitely got a good deal. So I'll be adding that to my candle stash. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, oh, 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 I almost forgot. I was gonna say goodbye before we clean Ziggy's cage, which it'll probably be in a couple more hours. Cause yeah, I just found, finished getting ready and then going to the store. So I'm like, I'm kinda probably gonna eat this, relax for a little bit, but then uh, I'll show you Ziggy and it'll clean his little terrarium. But I got this in the mail. Uh, it's my eBay order. I've been looking at like vintage, Halloween like vests and like sweaters and stuff. I'm trying to get this one sweater. I put it in a bid for 20 bucks. We'll see if they accept my offer. But uh, this is a vest on this. Louie, can you stop eating the plant? Stop it. He's eating the flake plants. Louie, I love you, stop. All right, so I ordered a vest. So I think this is like 90s. I have a similar vest, like same style, obviously not the same pattern but uh, I like to wear it at work and yeah, just, I don't know. I'm just digging, oh yeah. So it is a vest. Did it say, it says medium. It feels like it's pretty big for a medium, but it'll still be fine, I'm sure. It does have the like tie thing, so if I wanna make it a little tighter, can you see it? It's like a little tie, I can make it a little bit tighter to fit me a little better. But I thought this would be so fun to wear at work or just like around the holiday season. And yeah, I'm just like, I just want like oldie, like almost like ugly Halloween sweaters essentially. That's what, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm feeling in my soul. So I usually wear them, uh, the vests at least, with a tank or a turtleneck, I mean, underneath them. So I got this black turtleneck that I wear with my other vest I have. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to try this on and we're going to check out my new Halloween vest. All right, guys, I got it on. And yeah, I was able to tie it a little tighter, so I think it actually fits pretty okay. But yeah, I'm like, look at this. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get up close so you can see what's going on here. Yeah, so really nice material, really silky on the inside, and the back is silky. It's a little wrinkly right now, so I could put it in like the dryer on like no heat 
kind of get all the wrinkles out because it was just packaged up in this bag. But I think it is so cute. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Trees and ghosts and bats and pumpkins and full moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to hopefully get that deal on that sweater. Because it was a lot. The price was a lot more. And then they dropped the price. And then I did a counter offer of 20 So we'll see if that's too low. It was like $5 less than what they were asking. So we'll see. We'll see. I might not get it. But I didn't want to pay like too much. This was originally supposed to be. They were selling it for like like 30 or 40 bucks but they dropped the price down because i just added it to my watch list where they can see like people are looking at your item but then they dropped the price so this was only like eight dollars I, I i can't remember what i paid shipping i think maybe five bucks or so but yeah I, i'm so excited i want to wear it now i want to wear i'm gonna keep it on all day yeah 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 uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, the one vest I have is a little shorter. It's probably about this much shorter and has it's black and has like pumpkins and scarecrows on it. Oh, you'll see that again in the you'll see that in the future cuz uh Halloween season is approaching. It's almost freaking August, guys. And usually we start decorating at like once it hits September, it's Halloween time. You know, like we have a lot of decorations, so you know, if you're going to put all that stuff out, you might as well have it out for as long as, you know, you, you can. But yeah, oh, I love it, guys. I love it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I think this was 90s, it said. So yeah, it was like perfect. But yeah, I just want that like kind of goofy, almost like, I feel like this almost like is like, I am a substitute teacher vibes. Like, and that's not bad. It's not a bad thing. It's what I'm looking for. This is what this is exactly what I'm like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I get my name tag for work. I just wear. I would wear this outside of work too, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing cute stuff. This at work. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh yes. All right. Okay, you're probably sick of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, guys. Now I am try lattes kicking in. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I am going to put this banana bread away, finish my chai latte, eat my lunch, probably watch either some... Yeah, his YouTube, the horror channel, he plays horror video games. Like a whole bunch of indie, different kinds, super awesome. Uh, like I said, I'm not good at playing video games, but I really just... I like watching them. I like the concept. I like the commentary, them talking about what they're doing while they're doing it too. It's just easy background. Like if I'm on my phone too, it's like I don't really have to pay too close attention, but it still is interesting. But his YouTube uh, channel is CJU Games. And yeah, I'm gonna just, I think I'm liking him. I only follow a few video game YouTubers. So I feel like the personality, their personality makes it too. Cause like I said, the commentary, like how they interact with the game and how they talk about it and stuff is important. So I, I've been really liking him. He's been playing a lot of good games. So maybe I'll watch him play another one while I eat this. And then here in a couple hours, we will, cause we have to, we gotta do it guys. He's a dirty, stinky boy, Ziggy Fresh, and he deserves a good clean in and a good little nummies. So we will do that, but probably not for a couple hours. I'm just gonna hang out. Took me forever to do my makeup. So I'm just gonna relax on my second day off of the week. Mm -mm. I, yeah, all my thumbnails definitely, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in my thumbnail. <laughs> yes. You probably won't be able to really tell what it is from the thumbnail, cause, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. All right guys, well I'm super excited. Now I hope I get that sweater. I might, I might go back on just accept the, the, the. I think he has 48 hours to respond. I don't have any emails yet, so we'll see. Wish me luck. But I definitely wanna get some more vests. They have all kinds on, on eBay. And like I said, when you buy through eBay, always check the seller, always check the reviews. I usually only buy from sellers that have 100% positive feedback or like how many things have they sold, how many reviews do they have, because you're just buying things from strangers off the internet. So read the fine print, look at the reviews, make, make educated decisions, but I feel like this is amazing and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you in a couple hours and we'll uh, st uh, stink, we will clean the stinky Ziggy Fresh Boy. Okay, I'll be back. 
All right, guys. We are up in my room. Sorry, the lighting's bad. I have the window open, but it's as bright as I can get it in here. So sorry, like half of my face is super dark. Maybe I'll move it. I'll move it in front of the window while I'm talking. <clears throat> but yeah, I ate that little tomato mozzarella basil thing. It was delicious. I still had I ate quite a bit, and there was still a lot left over. So I'll probably eat a little more of that later. But mm, it was delish. So yeah, so we're in my room. Ziggy Fresh is right here. Here's one of his lights. He has a daylight and a nightlight because yeah, it has to keep temperature in there. Let's see if I put you right next to here. All right, that's not too bad on the lighting. At least you can see me. But we are going to clean him. So I got a new one of these. This is a green terrarium liner. So this is a 20 gallon one. So it'll fit 20 to 29 gallon. So it'll fit the size I have here. It says absorbent, non-abrasive material, will not irritate, safe, cannot be ingested. Cause some people use like sand and stuff and like the leopard geckos, they like lick things and they can ingest sand and what is it called? It's called something where your their tummy fills up with sand and they can't eat and then they just end up dying. So we don't use any sand or anything like that. So we will just be, kind of reminds me of like golf course material, <laughs> like mini golf, like that fake turf. So yeah, that's all it is. Nothing too fancy about it, but this will fit exactly throughout the whole entire bottom. Sorry if you can hear a noise, I'm heating up the water. Uh, the water in our house, like it gets super, super, super hot, but it like takes a minute, so I have to like run it for it to get really hot. It's probably done, let me go check. Okay, yeah, definitely, was, it's hot now. So what I'm gonna do is turn the lights off. I'm going to put Ziggy Fresh in this because I don't want him in there and scaring him while I'm trying to clean. And I'm not gonna use any chemicals or anything to clean. I'm just gonna use hot water and just wipe it out really good with different uh, towels and then put everything back in. I'll probably clean his water dish in the sink and stuff. But he's going in here. Let me turn the lights off to his tank. So you can kinda, sorry it's not, not that great of an angle. You're kinda a little crooked too. But yeah, so this goes back. Might have to scoot him forward. He's in his house right now, so he's probably like, what is happening? All right, we're gonna take that as far back as we can. And then he has some stuff in here, you gotta detach. So this, he like goes on like suction cups on the side of his house. So I'll show you everything once it's back in there clean. But yeah, so he can, and it's for like a cover too. Then I have some fake plants that he can have in there. Oh, I found a mealworm. Sometimes the mealworms escape from the little dish we have. And it's only been one time because the mealworms, they're not actually worms, they're like bugs. They, they have legs and they almost look like hard like if caterpillars and cockroach would have like a baby, that's what it looks like. I'll show you once we finish everything, I'll, sh I'll put some in to feed him. But it looks like one has escaped. Oh yeah, they're in here, see? But they turn and they'll, they'll make like a cocoon and uh, they'll, they turn into like little black beetles. See, oh, I dropped them, okay. Put them back in here for now because I don't want to have them outside like of this terrarium without something enclosed because I don't want freaking bugs crawling around. So this is his dish. So it's like tall enough but not too tall that most of the time he gets the mealworms. Like now we had an escape so one of them crawled out. But yeah, only one time did I find an actual bug where it did its complete metamorphosis and like turned into a beetle. Oop, he's coming out. He's like, what's happening? His water dish, I'm gonna put this in the sink so I can rinse it. More plants. Okay, he's crawling out of his little uh, hideaway. You always wanna make sure they have like a space to like go and like, so they can get out of, cause they're cold blooded. So they, that's why they need the lamps. Come on, crawl out fresh. Okay, but yeah, this is the inside of his hideaway. So he can crawl up in there in many different levels. From the outside, it just looks like this like rock. 
Okay, he is out and he is like, what is going on? So I'm gonna get this ready. And you don't want him to be out of the heat for too long because uh, that's not great. So, but it'll be good for like how amount of time that we have to clean him, he'll be just fine. Okay, I'm touching him a little bit so he's not scared. He's like, what are we doing? I'm grabbing him. I'll show you closer later, but look how cute he is. Just don't want to freak him out. Okay, so he's in here now. I'm going to put the lid on. Make sure I clamp it shut. So he's in there. That's Ziggy Fresh. He's so fresh. He's going to be fresh. Now I'm going to put him right on the bed in between some blankets so he can't roll or anything in that. So he's just, he's just chilling in there. Okay. I really hope I don't find any bugs under this mat because I will be like, ah! it took me a while to like be okay, <laughs> like be okay with it, like giving him the live beetles. I still don't like to like, uh, I like to watch him eat them, like, but like not get too close because you could hear like the bug crunching sounds and it's just like, oh god, oh god, oh no. All right, I gotta get a trash bag. He's over there looking like, what's going on? All right, so I just got a little glad trash bag, some mini trash. And I, I don't see any beetles, so thank God. I'm just gonna throw this entire thing away. Cause it's been quite a while since you got a good clean in, so. Get any poops that are, and he always poops in the same spot. Like he always, there's one corner where he goes to the bathroom and that's his bathroom spot. Okay, and I got lots of little towels here. So let's start wiping it out and once it's, looking okay then i'll show you because i was like he was a he was a dirty stink boy all right guys everything is wiped out now i'm just gonna take a towel and dry it but it came pretty clean pretty easy like i said he only goes to the bathroom in one spot so but like uh what the bugs are in i don't know if it's that what they eat because i like i don't feed them or anything like they just like live in here is that i don't know is that bad <laughs> Like, I don't know. That's just what they stay in. And then every few days, I take like three out and I give it to him and he goes to town. But uh, it has like the little debris stuff so that like when I get that in here, that gets everywhere. But other than that, okay, all right. Picking you guys up. All right, so woo. That's so probably, you can't really see it. So this is it completely empty. All right, now I'm going to just literally put this in. I don't have to cut it or anything. It's perfect size, which makes it really easy. It might be like a couple centimeters too big, but it is just fine. It'll settle. Oh yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wipe out the inside of this. All right, putting that in up against the back there so he has a nice hideaway. He can go in there and feel like he is nice and safe. Let me get his water dish. All right, I'll fill it up with water after I get everything in. I always use this shot glass that says Nacho Daddy on it okay. to, to fill up his water, so I just keep it here. We got this when we went to Vegas, and Cam drank a tequila shot with a dead scorpion in it, so that was cool. All right, this one I put in the corner by where he poops. <laughs> There. Maybe I should put it. I'll put it. Let me move it. Because he always moves it around because it's always in the spot where he poops. He's probably like, can you get this out of here? It's my poop corner. And then this I put back in the water. Perfect. And then his little log where he can also hide. Alright, putting in the other fake little plants. I'm gonna rinse out the bowl. All right, I got that dry. Put that in his little food spot. And now I'm gonna attach this back to the wall. All right, guys, yeah, sorry for this angle. It's, it's not, it is what it is. But okay, everything is in. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like before I put him back in. All right, guys, so yeah, it has like a fake landscape on the back. And 
That's where his food will go. Nice clean floor. I filled up the water. There we go. From this side. So it's a little dark now. But yeah, so he poops. This is his poop corner. So yeah, so I moved. Usually I have this plant, fake plant here, but he always pushes it out of the way. So maybe I should take the hint that he doesn't want it there. But yeah, here we go. Okay guys, now we're gonna put him back in. Yeah, he's just a super easy, little cool looking dude. Yeah, my uh, friend gave him to me and they just uh, didn't have the time for him anymore. And they know I have a lot of animals and stuff, so they, they were like, I know you'll take care of him. Come here, Fresh. He's a pretty cool dude. Okay, he's crawling out. Let me get a good grip on this. He's like, what's happening, dude? I know. What are you doing? Come here. Hi, buddy. It's me. The Ziggy Fresh boy, it's me. Yeah, he's just so beautiful looking. He always looks like he has a smile on his face. Okay. Here he is, guys. He's just a fun little dude. Let me get him back in before he freaks out. Alright, guys. There he is. He is going inside, so I don't know if he's gonna... It's been a little stressful. So, I'm gonna put some food out, but I don't know if he's gonna go for it right away. But we'll, we will put it, put it in the bowl. All right, guys. Now where his numbs are here, I'm going to use some tweezers to get him out. Got to dig for him. They're hiding at the bottom. Oop, I see him. It's like tremors. Got to dig for him. They're under, they're under the ground. You guys seen tremors? I love it. That one, uh, one of the actors who plays... Earl passed away not too long ago, which is sad, but yeah, we always grew up watching Tremors. It's it's a ridiculous movie, but just something about it. It's just good. Ooh, he's coming out. He sees him. Oh, I hope I can... Uh-oh. I'm going to try to hurry so I can get an angle. Okay, let me get one more out. Let me find one. He's coming. He's coming for him. Oop, I see one's tail. Okay, I got three in, and I always make sure I put the lid on real tight before I put it in my drawer because we don't want any bugs going around the house. Okay, I'm going to close the lid, turn on the lights, and we'll see if we can get some action on him eating some, some lunch. Alright guys, he's in. Hi right, guys, climbing back towards his house, so I don't know if we're going to get any action today. But he's a pretty cool dude. What are you doing, fresh boy? Come get your numbs. There's numbs for these boys' tums out here. Are we clean? He's like, what happened? We cleaned all the stinky poopy out. Alright, he's crawling back in. But yeah, so those are the mealworms. And he just crunches them right down. Now he's going into disappearing. But yeah, so it's a nice little area. That's what it looks like most of the time. But yeah, so sometimes they're able to escape from this. But usually he gets to them pretty quick. Hey, fresh boy, what are you doing? I see him poking his head out a little. You being cute? Come show the people how you get your numbs. He's like, I gotta check out my nice clean pad. Pretty cool boy, huh, fresh? That's my main man, Zig. But yeah, you see how he sticks his tongue out like and licks? They do that all the time. So yeah, if you have sand or anything or dirt in your terrarium, it could be really, really har harmful. Huh, oh, Fresh, what are you doing? He's like, I'm camera shy. What, get that thing out of my face. For the longest time, he wouldn't eat. Probably because we were new to him. But he wouldn't eat. Like if I went, would watch him, he wouldn't do it. And then I'd look away for two seconds and then it would be gone. The battery, I mean, the camera went off. Means I was cleaning for about 20 minutes, Zig. Because that's how long it takes for the camera to stop recording. You being cool? But yeah, he's just a really cool little dude. Like I said, my friends gave him to me. So, like, I probably wouldn't have gotten anything like this 
um, like otherwise. But he's just, he's really, he's a fun little guy. Doesn't need a whole lot. Just some mealworms and some water and a place to hide. Sega Fresh, your poop corner is all clean. You gotta start over. Sega Fresh, come get your numbs. Okay, see if he sees them. Usually it takes him like a minute. Sometimes he'll get it instantly and sometimes he really has to like, he, he almost like pecks at him. Like he's trying to attack fast and get it in his mouth, but he like misses. Oh, you see him now? Oh, he's looking. You gonna go for it? Oh! Woo! Alright, he got one. Nom, 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 nom. And it's gone. One down. Yeah, I'll give him like three every couple of days. Oh yeah, that was good. That was good for a boy. Okay, Zig, say bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. Look at that cute face. It's so cute. Okay, bye fresh. See you later. All right guys, well, now I'm just in my bathroom. Oh, see, like this is one of my scrunchy towers like I've been talking about. I can show you the other one. I've cleaned my bathroom up just a little bit. There's clothes everywhere, but for the most part it's clean. But yeah, so those are just paper towel holders that I wall mounted and now I use them for all my scrunchies. <laughs> all the scrunchies. More scrunchies than I know what to do with. All right, I am sweating, it's hot up here, I'm wearing a turtleneck. I'm gonna change. <laughs> but I think we're gonna call it here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. It's probably a little longer just because I chatted and then we did the whole Ziggy Fresh thing. But it was nice of you to meet him because, yeah, he's been here this whole time. He's just hanging out, living his Ziggy Fresh life. But, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit, you know. Just uh, hope you enjoyed my freaking vest that I am... So, so I'm ordering more. I'm going to find more and I'm going to, they will be mine because I'm just like, I just want to wear it all the time. I just want to be that person and I will be. <laughs> all right guys, well, I will see you really soon and I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Bye.